Republican candidate for Michigan Governor, Tudor Dixon. Tudor, great to have you with us. Thank you for having me, John. All right, so Americans overwhelmingly support voter ID. We have a Monmouth University poll here that found that four out of five Americans, that's 80 percent, support voter ID. Why is Gretchen Whitmer opposed to it? Well, uh, you show me someone that's opposed to voter ID, and I'll show you someone that wants to cheat in an election. This is a situation that we have in Michigan. That's why so many Michiganders want that forensic audit. We've been asking for a forensic audit. She says she will absolutely veto any option we have for a forensic audit. Representative Steve Cara already submitted a bill requesting that forensic audit. The Michigan people want to see what happened in the 2020 election. For exactly this reason, when you have a governor who says she doesn't believe in voter ID, like I said, you show me that someone that doesn't want voter ID, I'll show you someone that wants to cheat in an election. We've heard from President Donald Trump many, many times that he wants a forensic audit. He wants to know what happened in Michigan. When I travel across the state, Michiganders say to me, what are the chances that we can have a free and fair election? The way they will feel comfortable moving forward with our elections, the way they will feel that their elections are fair and safe, is to go for that forensic audit. We also have another option here in Michigan, which is really good. It needs to be coupled with that forensic audit, and that is Secure My Vote. It's Secure MI Vote. A lot of our Michiganders haven't heard about this, so I want to tell them about it today. This is a citizen's initiative. So we already know that there are 39 bills in the legislature that are looking to protect our votes. Now, we also know that this governor has said she will veto them. So if we sign these petitions for Secure My Vote, then this will go to the legislature and they can pass it into law without the governor having to sign it. This is the best option for Michigan's votes going forward to be secure. These are simple things, John, like voter ID, voter ID with an absentee ballot. And guess what? Not sending absentee ballot applications to every single person in Michigan. That's unnecessary. Yeah, most people just want the uh, same kind of uh, restrictions on voting or limitations on illegal voting that they have in Delaware or in uh, Rhode Island, for example, Democratic states that have tougher voting laws than Georgia and Florida still to this day. And going back to the whole voter ID thing, some Democrats do seem to be uh, looking at those poll numbers, the way they're acting. I want to go back to something that Congressman James Clyburn told Neil Cavuto on Fox News back in July. Here he is. I've always had voter ID. And that's why the representative earlier told it. no Democrat has ever been against voter ID. No Democrat has ever been against voter ID. Has he met Gretchen Whitmer? <laughs> I don't think so, but hey, I'd like to have him come and campaign with us here and say Democrats shouldn't be against voter ID. In fact, we'd like to go back and see what Democrats are exactly doing in this state to cheat in these elections, because obviously he agrees if you're against voter ID, then you must be doing something pretty fishy. <laughs> well, real quickly, we've got about uh, a minute left here. Tell us about your run for governor. What inspired you to do this? Yeah, I, I looked at what Gretchen Whitmer is doing, obviously what we're talking about, and I said, you know what, I can go out and beat this woman, and we can run this state the way it should be run. We have so much opportunity to bring this state back as the number one manufacturing hub for the entire country, and that's what it should be. We have employers here that are ready to get back to work. They have their manufacturing facilities running, and guess what? They don't have enough employees here because of the cruel policies of this governor. But as a manufacturer myself, I look at this and I say, this is something that we can quickly fix and bring this state back to where it needs to be with the right policies in place. And I'm the person to bring us there. So I want people to please visit TudorDixon.com. That's T-U-D-O-R-D-I-X-O-N.com and help us get there. All right, Tudor Dixon, we'll talk to you soon. Good luck on the race. Take care.